And we are back now with a new surcharge Amazon just announced. They're blaming rising fuel costs and inflation. And while this extra fee won't be charged directly to customers, they're very likely to feel it. Blaine Alexander has more. The next time you see an Amazon van roll through your neighborhood, know that it's moving at a higher cost, one that could soon be passed on to you. The online giant says it's adding a 5% fuel and inflation surcharge to all third-party sellers in the U.S. That's more than half of Amazon's inventory, everything from books to makeup, clothes, and more. At a certain point, you can't keep absorbing all those costs and run a business that's economic. How much do you rely on Amazon for your business? Yeah, we rely uh, pretty extensively on Amazon. Bernie Thompson's company, Pluggable Technologies, sells computer accessories. He says 80% of their items are shipped through Amazon. The new surcharge means his prices are going up again. This will be the first time that we're really raising prices directly because of an uh, Amazon fee change. Amazon is not alone. Both UPS and FedEx have also tacked on a fuel surcharge, meaning every package delivered to your doorstep could cost you a little bit more. In a letter to sellers, Amazon said the company has experienced significant cost increases, something they expected to go down as COVID subsides, but that fuel and inflation have presented further challenges. I think what's really striking about, you know, not just with Amazon, but in, but many of the big corporations that have been raising prices in the last few months, is that if you look, these are companies that are also reporting record profits. Amazon's CEO says he hopes it's only temporary, but for small businesses... But this has been an extraordinarily tough time for small businesses. And costly, especially for the millions of us who click buy.